I'm not going to get into better or worse. I did agree with the decision. I've supported the decision and have uh, stayed in touch with the SRC about not only the decision, but how then to ultimately get to a settlement, which, again, if you look back at the conversation that started uh, sometime in late June, early July, we are now in late August, so obviously there's been a lot of discussion uh, back and forth over that time. I did agree with the ultimate decision. I was more focused on how do you get to an amicable, relatively quick settlement that takes place before school opens and does not damage our ability to make sure the schools open on September 6th, that there is stability uh, at uh, the school district and that we're able to move forward uh, and continue uh, some of the many gains that uh, Superintendent Ackerman and her team uh, were able to effectuate uh, during her time. That's my focus. When I subsequently became aware that there was this uh, potential effort uh, to try to raise some non-school district or non-public taxpayer dollars to help support uh, whatever an ultimate settlement might be, um, I was asked, uh, would I uh, support uh, that kind of effort? Uh, and my response was yes, uh, because my interest was in minimizing uh, the amount of public dollars that might go toward any settlement, given uh, the district's uh, finances. And so, uh, again, when asked about that, I did support it. Uh, and yes, I have made a couple calls. The issue of the donors, uh, I think you're quite familiar and quite aware that in any number of situations, people make contributions. Some want to be known, uh, and some uh, seek uh, to be anonymous. That's why they're called an anonymous donation. Bottom line here is that over the course of the summer, while all this other activity has been going on, we've had regular meetings uh, with uh, the district leadership about uh, the opening of schools. Uh, and I believe uh, that in some capacity, uh, not only Dr. Nunnery, but others over at the district uh, got the schools open last year. With every respect uh, to uh, whether it's Superintendent Ackerman, uh, or Superintendent Vallis, or Superintendent Hornbeck, or anyone else, the school superintendent does not personally open the 258 buildings themselves. There's a whole team of people who are responsible for making sure the school buildings get open, uh, and uh, at least based on the meetings and the discussions and all the other information that we received, it appears that we are fully on track uh, to have schools open on uh, September 6th. Clearly, 